Hello Steelers and welcome to this game of Chain of Command. As some of you will know this is uh, my favourite war game so I'm glad to be playing it again. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm doing a fictitious uh, scenario that is set in Normandy uh, with the fights between US paratroopers defending their position against a German attack. This is actually a game that we played at the club uh, this, when I'm recording this, last night, but when you see this, it's probably several weeks ago now. Uh, it was a game between Gary and Lee. Uh, Gary took the US Paris and Lee took the attacking Germans. It was the attack defence scenario that was in the uh, Chain of Command source uh, uh, book. Uh, it's just a basic one I just rolled up for the, for the two of them and I umpired the game uh, as it played out. So what I've done is I've, I've reset the table up as it was last night, or several weeks ago, uh, and I'm using exactly the same forces which I also rolled up for the guys as well uh, as part of their game. So I'll take you through those in a second. They'd already done the patrol phase, so what I've done is I've laid out, as part of their game, they did the patrol phase, I've, so I've basically laid out the uh, all the, the jumping off points where theirs were, because I just wanted to replicate it as much as possible without having to go through the patrol phase or anything. So I'm going to skip straight through that anyway as part of this game. And on top of that, uh, well, really the reason I'm refighting it is because Gary got such a hiding last night in the game itself. Uh, I think Lee lost basically one section and Gary, Gary's in, pretty much entire force was wiped out by the end of it. Uh, it was just unus unusable. Uh, so what I wanted to do was kind of come back to it and just see if it is winnable as a defending uh, American Paras and see what I can do when I'm playing it solo. Just taking, you know, a similar setup, same, uh, exactly this, everything else is exactly the same as far as I can get it. I mean, I'm, you know, I was just going off photographs as to how the table is set up. So it, it's close enough to what it was last night. There's very, very few changes in it and uh, I can't imagine... You know, there's going to be anything that's uh, that's going to be terribly out of place that will disbalance the game either way. So I guess that's probably enough waffle for me at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll show you the forces that are involved. We'll talk about those a little bit. I'll show you the table, and then we'll just get on with the game and we'll just see how it goes on and uh, see if the Paris can actually hold back the German offensive this time. Okay, so here we have the two forces. Uh, so we've got the three German sections uh, as part of their platoon, along with uh, their leader, their lieutenant, and a Panzerschreck team as well of two men. Each of the sections is made up of six riflemen, uh, a team of six riflemen, sorry, uh, an NCO with a SMG. Then they've got an LMG team with uh, with two men and also a rifleman in there as well. So they're ten men teams, ten men sections. And three of those. They've also got a Stu 42, uh, so that's got a big gun, uh, but uh, so it's a bit of an assault weapon. And they also paid for an adjutant as well. I think, if I remember correctly, they had 10 uh, points for their force, uh, their force supports. So that's what they went for. So a bit, a bit of mobile artillery basically. And they are up against this para unit, uh, their platoon. So they have two sections and these are quite big actually because they've got a three-man LMG team. They also have an NCO and then uh, two, four, six, eight rifles in each of those. So they're pretty big uh, blocks of troops but obviously they, they've only got the two sections so they're quite smaller in total than the Germans. But they also have a five-man 60mm mortar crew They've got a lieutenant, a lieutenant sorry, German, uh, sorry, American, uh, and also a sergeant as well as their HQ, their, their leaders, and a bazooka team of two men. Their support force points, I went for uh, a 30 cal MMG with five crew, so that's there, so that's a tripod mounted 30 cal, so that's throwing out quite a lot of, uh, of, of bullets. Also, their... Uh, their sections are Garand guys, so they are all rolling re-rolling uh, re ones. Plus, because they are elites, they get six dice for their command dice, and they also have uh, they get to re-roll. Uh, so I've said they haven't. No, they re-roll the ones on the Garands. Plus, they are also one harder to hit, so it's basically like a minus one to hit them. Uh, so if they're in the open, for example, you, uh, if you're at close range with them, you're hitting them a 5-6 rather than a 4-5-6 because of their elite status. 
So a pretty good defence force, basically. They could just probably just sit there and wait for the Germans to come, but uh, the Germans do have that armour. So let's see what happens. I'll show you the table and we'll get on with the game and see where we are with it. OK, so this is the table over which the Germans are attacking. They're attacking from this end of the table where I'm standing uh, to the left-hand side of the screen, on the right-hand side of the screen to the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, so their jumping off points are on here. I'll show you those in a second. Just before we go on, we've got force morale. Again, this is all just based on what we did yesterday. Uh, the Germans rolled a 5, so they got 10, and the Americans rolled a 6, so they got 11, so they uh, uh, have a higher force morale. The German jumping off points, oh, there's one here just behind this bush. We also have one here in the orchard as well, right on the very edge of that orchard, and then they had a final one here by the road up against the edge of the table. The Americans, on the other hand, uh, they were clustered really around these buildings here, uh, this was kind of Gary's downfall. He went made straight for the buildings and uh, just got annihilated because he couldn't really move. But they've got one jumping off point by the side of the buildings, another one there by those bushes, and then a third and final one at the back of the trees over there. So that's really how their, their jumping off points were set up. Uh, the cornfields, I said, were giving light cover, uh, but you can see through them. Uh, and everything else is as it normally is, really. Uh, walls are hard cover, uh, buildings are as well. So, as I say, what we'll do is we'll crack on straight away and just see what happens with this game. Well, as the Americans have got the uh, highest force morale, they are going to go first. So let's have a look. Six, uh, so they've got six dice. So they've got one chain of command point there. Uh, they've got two ones, two sixes, sorry, so that means they retain the phase. And then they've also got a four and two ones. But you know what? They're actually not going to do anything. I'm going to wait with them. I'm going to wait it out and see what the Germans do. Because they've got that second phase, they're going to roll their dice again because it may mean that they might get some more chain of command points. So let's just see. And they have. So the six on its own is doing nothing, but they've got two fives there, so that takes them straight up to three chain of command points. And as before, they've got a four and two threes, which is pretty good roll, but they are going to hold on and they are not going to do anything. They're going to force the Germans' hand uh, to see what they do, first of all, as they're the defenders. So we'll go back over to the Germans. They're only rolling five dice. So they have two chain of command points as well. Ooh, that's going to be a chain of command point heavy game by the looks of it. So that's the fives. Oh, and three, in fact. So I didn't even see that one. So that goes up to three chain of command points, both of them. And then they've got a four senior leader and a three, which is a junior leader. So uh, is it worth them bringing on the Stug? So at least they've got their artillery on the table. I think that might be a first German play. OK, all the Germans have done, I've decided not to bring this Stug on because I don't want to play the hand too early. So what they've done is they've used a junior leader just to bring on a section here. Uh, and they put them on overwatch, looking down that quite open area at the back of the village. So if any Americans do appear, they can at least get some firing off at them. It's quite a good uh, position to be in, I think, at this point, ready for the attack. Don't want to send them in piecemeal because the Americans will stomp them, so they are just going to hold back for a bit. I did think about bringing on the senior leader because they've got that adjutant, but at the point, this point, there's not much point, I don't think, because there's not much he can do anyway. Maybe when the next section comes on, he will come with those. Well, so now the Germans have started making their play. Let's have a look, see if the Americans do anything. Ooh, three. <laughs> That's three. Uh, Sixes, so that ends the turn, which will actually take those Germans off Overwatch at the end of this turn, and it means that the Americans uh, retain the phase as well. But they've got a one, a three, and a four. So, right, well, in that case, then, what they might do is again ignore this turn, get those Germans off Overwatch, so they're no longer watching, and then go again. Because there's no point bringing them on now, because if they bring them on now, the Germans will fire at them immediately. Now, uh, if they do it uh, in the next phase, it means that they can now at least start to attack the Germans with no fear of being fired at until the Germans turn at least. Let's, let's give it a go. Oh, look, they retain the phase anyway. So we've got a uh, double six. No fives, but in a really good mix there. So they actually have... That was a six, get rid of that. Uh, so they've got the phase again, so we've got... A senior leader, two junior leaders, and a section. 
So that thing I think they can bring on pretty much all of their force at this point and start hammering those Germans. I think that's probably what they're going to do now that the Germans are off Overwatch. Okay, we've got our first bit of firing. Because the Americans waited till the end of that turn, because they got the three sixes, they've actually taken the Germans off Overwatch, so they're not going to get to react to this. Uh, and now they've popped up and they've deployed a section in the back garden here, firing across. They're going to be in light cover because they're in the woods anyway. Uh, but they deployed from this point, jumping off point here. The Americans deploy up to nine inches away because they're elites. And then they've also deployed another section here with this junior leader uh, to fire again. Those Germans are going to try and batter them as much as possible. They've also deployed a sergeant as well. He is just within nine inches of both of these sections. So if his four comes up in the next uh, in the next command, he can uh, get these two to act as well. But he's kind of attached to this section over here, so any fire on this section will possibly affect him. So, we're rolling our dice. I've, I've got two different colours. Blue is for the LNG. This is for this section. These are at short range because they're less than 18. Hitting on 456. The Garands are re-rolling on yellow. In uh, they're re-rolling on ones uh, for them. So let's just roll these. They're both the same for both sections, but these are all uh, at effective range. So let's have a look. So take out all our hits, so we've got one and two from the LMG, and then the Garands, we've got another one, two from those automatically, but how many Garand ones are there? There's one, two and three. So let me re-roll those, and we'll see what we get for those. Uh, so same again, four up, and they have hit, uh, so that's just one hit. So that's five hits in total on from the first round of firing. So let's get that done. Uh, so with, they are in light cover, so six is the kills, four five is shock, and the Germans are going to put three hits onto their rifle team, two hits onto their LMG team. So I'll do this. Uh, I'll roll them all together. The blue is the LMG team. Uh, six is the kills, four five is shock. So actually nothing at all. Uh, ineffective firing from the Americans. But then they've got the fire over here. Same again. Uh, Rerolls on ones on the yellows, so let's just take out everything that's hit. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. This is more like a ten. Uh, actually, sorry, these are at long range, so missing on uh, only hitting on fives and sixes. So that's still quite a number though. Uh, but let's just get those yellow dice. So they're the two yellows that were ones. So they've all missed. And then we've got the two ones, three rolls, fives and sixes to hit. So that's a six and a three, so that's one hit and one miss. Uh, for long range, that's still not bad, or effective range. Two, four, six, eight, nine hits in total. So same again, five are going to be on the rifles, and that's blue. Four are going to be on the LNG, and that's yellow. Six of the kills, five, six shock. Four, five shocks, should I say. So we've got one, two, three, four shock immediately on those uh, rifles. That's no good. And then two kills on the LMG team. So uh, are either of those kills on a on their junior leader? So look, one or a two. Let's hit him. Yes, he's been hit. So what happens then? His damage is a two, he is knocked out till the end of the turn. So they've actually only lost one rifleman, but their junior leader is knocked out. So that is gonna be a bad things happen roll straight away. Let's put our knocked out marker on the junior leader. So he's ineffective until the end of the turn, for, unfortunately for him. And then we roll our dice for the bad things happen. Junior leader wounded is a three. That is one point off the German's morale straight away. So the dice, the only dice the Americans got left over is that two, which is a section, so they can't do anything with that anyway. But they have their double phase, so they go on to their next phase. Let's see what we get. Uh, one six on its own is doing nothing for them. However, we have two ones, two twos, and a three. So that's quite a good mix, actually. They could uh, turn some of those into... Uh, senior leaders and get quite a lot of stuff moving or they might bring on a couple of sections Let me just have a think about it because that's quite a an interesting dice roll Okay, let me just show you what I've done because this is a little bit complicated What we've done is we've used the four on the sergeant 
to activate this section here and use them to do marching fire which has used up two of his command initiatives however I've kind of done it just out of sync because he's basically moved them forward they're gonna fire and because they're using marching fire they've moved forward two dice so uh, they only fire at half effect but they've uh, moved six inches towards that they're once again in a close assault them because they're aggressive troops and uh, they will most likely batter them However, he has also, before that happened, he's also ordering these to fire, so this is what I say, slightly out of sync, because they're going to fire before they move, uh, so they're going to fire, that they will fire with them. Also, we used a 1 over here to deploy the MMG on the edge of the forest, so that will also fire as well, and again, although that section looks as though it's in the way, currently isn't because it's still behind that uh, fence at this point, and then also, for the other one, uh, they brought on their mortar as well, so that is going to fire. So basically this, this German section is going to take almost the entire American combined fire uh, from the entire platoon. So I'll get this camera set up and we'll roll some dice, see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to start with the mortar. They're in line of sight, four, five, six is a hit, so they're in line of sight with somebody. So four, five, six is a hit, so that's one and a two, so that's a nice done. Okay, then we shall move on to the MMG. Now this has got 10 dice because it's a big old beast of a thing. Uh, this is hitting on fives and sixes though, because they're uh, just at effective range. Oh, actually, no, it's 24 inches for the, uh, for the thing. I've not checked the range of it. Let's look. No, they are, they're just over 24 inch. So yeah, fives and sixes for this, no re-rolls. So we've got one, two, three hits this time on that German section so let's see what they are so that's going to be one hit on the lmg and two hits on the rifles the rifles six is the kills four five shock so the rifles nothing two and two and then the lmg a four is one shock on that lmg team who have already suffered a single casualty as well so let's just get that placed down that's on there and stand up lad uh then we said we've got the section over here firing. Now these are once again firing at uh, effective range. So this is fives and sixes to hit, but they've got the re-rolls with those garands, of course, on the yellow dice. So let's have a look. Uh, so we're looking at fives and sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's only one re-roll in there. Uh, so I'll just quickly do that. Six, that's another hit. So that's eight hits in total. So that's going to be four hits on each of the uh, each of the teams. So LMG team is going to be in blue, rifles in yellow. So same again, six is the kills. So I said LMG team in blue. So that's a kill on the LMG team and also a shock on them. So let's just put that shock on there. And then uh, there are two shock on the rifles team. So that takes them up to six. God, they're suffering already, so they're on eight shock at this point. They've had one kill, and this is just from this round of firing, so let's just see if that has hit their junior leader again. Uh, I mean, he's he's knocked out, but I don't know. There's a there's a bit of a house rule that says if they're knocked out, they, they can't be hit, but I think there's a lot of bullets flying around there, so even if he's on the ground, he could be hit. Uh, if they were behind a, a wall or something, I'd say not. But right now, let's just see. No, he hasn't been hit, so it's one of the LMG teams, so that takes them down uh, down to six dice when they're firing now, instead of their normal eight dice. So now we're firing with these guys who did the uh, fire and uh, fire and manoeuvre, so because they moved two dice, we're going to half the amount of dice they've got, so let me just quickly count that up, so that's going to be four for the LMG, so we'll just take those four out, and then two, four... Six, eight, nine for the Garands. And we're going to round down because that's what it says to do in the book. So it's eight dice firing, re rolls on the yellows, of course. So let's just have a look at that. Uh, so we've got uh, one hit from the LMG, one hit from the Garand, two hits from the Garand, so that's three in total, and one re roll for the Garands. So let's just see what happens with that. That's a miss. So three hits. Germans, once again, two hits on the rifles, one hit on the LMG, so yellows and blues, uh, four, so that takes their rifles up to seven shock. Let me just check what their shock level now is at. They may be pinned. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight men 
and nine shock in total. So yes, they are now pinned. Uh, unfortunately for them, that's not good going. Right, so back to the Germans. They finally get a phase. Let's see what they can do there. And they've got three chain of command points, so that takes them up to a full chain of command dice. And then two twos. Uh, that is not great at this point, unless they brought on their uh, their senior leader to maybe drop some of the. Uh, oh, he couldn't. He's not going to do a great deal though. I guess all they can do is fire really at this point with uh, a section. They could bring on a second section as well actually. So they might do that. They could bring on two sections actually. Two fresh sections. I think they might do that. Because uh, it looks like the, that third section, the, the one that's on already is pretty battered at this point. Alright, using those two twos the Germans have decided to bring on two sections. So one here in the cornfield, so they're in light cover. And one here on the edge of the orchard, so they're in heavy cover. Firing at the Americans. Firing at close range for both of them. But because the Americans are elite, it's going to be hitting on fives and sixes. Uh, so this is the dice for both of them. So I'll do the ones in the orchard first. We say fives and sixes. Uh, this could be pretty nasty. Uh, but well, let's just see. One, two. Uh, the Americans may have gone a little bit uh, overboard here. Uh, trying to close down that, that section. That was a hit. So let's just put that there. So this is from the first round of firing seven. Uh, that's eight hits in total. And the Americans have got a senior leader in there as well as a junior leader. But we've got four hits on the LMG team. Uh, they are in light cover, so six is kill, four five is shock. So that's a two shock on the LMG team. Let me just put those on quickly, uh, just while I remember. It's always the thing I always forget is a shock. So there's two on that LMG team there. And then four hits against the rifles. Six, six is a kill, five is shock. So that's another two shock on those uh, rifles there. Ooh, not great, but they can reduce that if they get the right dice rolls, of course. And then we've got the same amount of firing coming from the other Germans as well, the ones in the cornfield now. So let's see. Because uh, this uh, <laughs> defence by the Americans is quite aggressive. Should be the Germans attacking. So let's just see. We're looking at fives and sixes again. We've got. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. So that's three on each team. So I'll just roll them with these dice. So we've got the LMG team, six of the kills. So that's one kill first of all, and three is nothing. And then the rifles, they have two more shock. So let's put them up to four. Uh, so that's kind of stopped them in the tracks a bit, but they are at least in cover. Has that hit hit any of the leaders? One and it has. No, it hasn't. So it's just one of the rifles with the LMG team. So they're actually, to be honest, they've got off with that relatively lightly, uh, especially having been fired out by two LM, uh, MG 42s and two full sections. Okay, <clears throat> over to our Americans now. Let's see what they can do. They have a six, does nothing on its own. Uh, two fives, so that's two chain of command points. So that takes them up to five. Yeah, a good number of those. And then they've got three, three, three. So that's three junior leaders. Mm. Not perfect for what they need, because they needed uh, a senior leader at least in there. But uh, it's better than nothing. Let me have a think about what they're going to do with it, though. OK, that really wasn't the best role for the Americans uh, with the two junior leaders. But what they've done is... They've reduced shock here using their junior leader and then he's allowed the men to go tactical. So they are now in hard cover. Uh, so that's going to protect him a bit at least uh, for the round of firing that is unlikely to come. Um, they are getting, the other junior leader is getting the LMG to fire at this section again. I would let the entire section fire, but most of them are behind this section. So I'm just, the LMG is just on the edge. So I'm going to allow him to fire and they're firing at this section over here, the Germans. Uh, hitting on fives up. Let's see if they do anything. Uh, kind of worried about what the German sec the German turn is going to bring now. So that's at four hits, uh, which is not too bad. Half half the amount. So two hits on that LMG. There's only the LMG himself left. So look, uh, three and a one, no effect. And then two hits on the rifles. A six is a kill, and a one is nothing. Let's see if it's on the junior leader. Five, no, it's not. It's one of the rifles. 
So they are picking away at them and slowly reducing their numbers. Uh, okay, back to the Germans then. Let's just see what they do with their turn. What have we got? Six on its own does nothing. A five gives them another chain of command point. Should have spent the last one really to interrupt the turn, but we forgot. Uh, we've got three, a three, and a one. So that could be could bring on the senior leader and perhaps the Stug as well. I think that might be the thing to do at this point. Well, it might swing back towards the Germans this time. So they brought on the senior leader and he is now commanding these two. I think the other section is just out of his, yes, just out of his command range, literally. So he can't do anything with them, but he can get these two sections to fire. Uh, I've just brought him onto the field. He'll probably run up here to get the rest of them to do stuff as well later. So let's just get them done. First one's firing. Uh, the Americans are tactical, so they've gone up to hard cover now. Uh, but they're hitting on five and sixes. So let's just see. First of all, that's this section here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hits. So that's going to be three on each team. This time they're killing on a six and wounding, uh, shocking on a five. So let's have a look. So this is the rifles. Uh, two fives is two more shock, uh, so that then takes them up to five, and then two hits, uh, three hits on the LMG. Uh, that is just uh, hard cover, so there's no nothing there, no effect. Uh, and then our second section, same again, fives and sixes to hit. So we've got one, two, three, four, five hits. So that is then going to turn into uh, hits on hard cover so two hits on the LMG team six is kills five is shock uh, one shock and they are I don't want to jinx it but they, they seem like they're weathering the storm a little bit at this point and then turn again rifles six is a kills and sh five is shock nothing nothing no effect for them and then with that second junior leader the Germans are bringing on their stu. So this is going to be firing, I don't know how you pronounce it, stu, 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 I don't know. Uh, this is firing at these guys, they're in effective range, so normally it's a 4, 5, 6 to hit, but because they're elite it becomes a 5, 6 to hit. They are in hard cover because they're tactical, but because it's a stug it reduces uh, cover, because it's HE, it reduces cover down to light cover. So, let's see if it hits first of all, hitting on a 5 and 6. So we've got 2 hits, uh, but they're in light cover, so 4, 5 is shock. Six is a kill, so LMG, five, so that's another shock on the LMG. God, they need to clear some of this shock uh, before they, well, they're on nine. They've got more men than nine at this point. And then on the rifles, four, uh, they're in light cover, so that's another shock. They're actually on ten shock in total. Let me just count up how many men are in there, because we need to get some of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, they're okay at the moment. Uh, they're holding on. They're not pinned or anything just yet. So, the Americans turn. They're going to need to get rid of some of that shock. Let's just see. We've got a five. That gives them a chain of command point. So a chain of command dice. Six does nothing on its own. But we have two twos, a one, and a three. So actually, that's again another reasonable amount of uh, of dice that they need. Uh, let me just have a little think about this and see what they're going to do with them. Okay, we've got a slightly complicated turn here. What we want to do is I'll turn it into two fours. So senior leader here, sergeant, has reduced shock uh, down to four and two, and they've also brought on their le lieutenant as well. Now he is ordering these guys to run back into the shelter of the houses, or at least behind the houses, because uh, they're taking fire from three die four directions at this point. Before that happens though, and then once they're out of the way, he's going to get these to fire and also the MMG because they're just in uh, his range, so that'd be use up three of his. Unfortunately for him, the, the mortar is just out of range. But before these move, the Germans are spending a chain of command dice and they are getting one of their sections, one of the, it doesn't matter which one, one of them to fire at the Americans. Hitting on fives and sixes. So let's have a look. That's a lot of hits. Trying to keep them pinned where they are at this point. So that's all two, four, six, seven, eight hits. Burks, they are in heavy cover because they are still tactical at this point. And uh, so that's four hits on the LMG, four hits on the rifles. Six is kills, five is shock. So the LMG, so that is a kill, 
and two shock on the LMG, so let's put them back up. They might end up staying where they are, to be honest. Uh, so they're back up to four and a kill, so let's just put that there so we remember. And then hits on the rifles. Uh, that's another kill and another shock. So that's actually put their shock up to nine at this point, and two kills in total. Let's see if it's on their senior or junior leader. Six, no it's on neither. So we have one fella here, one fella here. Let's take those dice away. So that means if they now move, they are moving with a minus nine on their dice, which is not great, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so they're kind of a bit, they're a bit flummoxed really as to where they are. Uh, but, I'm thinking because now, well, they're still they're still kind of stuck where they are. I think at this point. So what do we do with the senior leader now? Do I get him to pull them back and go for a dice roll above nine? If maybe I used, well, look, we've got nine. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten men in there. If they ran with three dice, that would put them up to eleven. So that would pin them. So that's no use, is it? He can't reduce shock on them. Hmm. This one's a bit tricky. I'm just going to pause the camera a second while I have a think about this. Okay, I better think about it. I think the only thing realistically I can do uh, is fire this LMG in this team over here. Or, alternatively, we could get these to move and fire. So I could get these out into a position out here uh, using two command initiatives from our senior leader and then he could also may, maybe move the others up so that's actually what I'm going to do I'm going to move these forward seems a little dangerous because they are going to put them in the open uh, oh do I though that's a question isn't it do I run them across here uh, let's have a look at how far that distance is it is to the woods 12 inch well I'll tell you what I'm going to, I'm going to go for three uh, three dice worth of movement try to get them here uh, we need basically fours on each of these dice, so there's a 50% chance they will get there. They're not firing, they just want to get into those trees so they can fire next turn. So let's just do that. It will cause shock, but it's only one shock on each team. Well, let's have a look. That is four and four, that's eight, plus that's 13 inches. So they've actually just made it onto the edge of that tree. So they can't fire, uh, but that was one used up. So I'll just put that there. So that's one of his command initiatives. He's still got another three left. I'm just going to stick these on the edge of the wood here. And then we've got, so at least now they can start firing uh, with a clean shot. And then the only other thing he's going to do, he's going to get the, the team over here to move as well. They are going to move and fire because they are going to, uh, he's going to use two command initiatives to get these to move to the edge. So we're going to take one pip off each of the dice for his for the hard cover or the <laughs> tough guy. There you go, double one, uh, two off. They don't move. Uh, I'm not going to allow him to fire. I don't know if that. Nah, come on, that corridor of fire is fine. They couldn't before because the other ones were in front bang, and they're tactical. So I'm going to allow them to uh, to fire. So they're firing with half the amount though. So it's only five dice because they did try to move. So let's go with that. Hitting on fives and sixes. Uh, that's two hits. Uh, the Americans are having such a hard time. I've got to give them a bit of a break here. Uh, so uh, one hit on the rifles, nothing. One hit on the LNG, four is. They're in light cover so that takes them up to three shock. Uh, are they pinned or anything yet? Let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, actually, yes, they are pinned. Uh, seven, eight, in fact. Yes, they're pinned. Uh, so he should have been in hard cover, actually, because he's uh, hitting the ground. So that means that by stand bound, back down to two. Uh, but it doesn't do anything to them, unfortunately, for the Americans. Right, so our Germans, after spending their chain of command dice, see what they get. Uh, four senior leader, two threes, two junior leaders, uh, and a two and a one. So that's a very good mix actually, that's pretty much what they need at this point I think. Before the Germans do anything the Americans are interrupting with their chain of command dice and they are going to fire with this section at the German section there, hitting on uh, four up because of their close range. The Germans are in hard cover because they are pinned uh, and in light cover. 
Uh, we're re-rolling ones as well, so let's just see how many hits we get. First of all, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits, and re-rolls on those Garands on the yellows. Uh, there's two re-rolls there, so let's see what they do. Fours up. Uh, both misses. So that's eight hits. So uh, four on the LMG, that's going to be the blue. And four on the rifles, that's going to be yellow. And they're in hardcover, six is a kills, uh, five is shot. So we said uh, blue for the LMG, so that's killed the LMG guy. Well, unless he's hit the junior leader. And then four to one, nothing on the rifles. But it's a kill on the LMG, see if it's hit the leader though. No, it hasn't, so it's wiped out our team. So that is a bad thing's happen. Team wiped out. On a team wiped out, bad things happen. A four, that's one point off the Germans' force morale. So our Germans uh, have used their four for their senior leader. He's just moved up to the wall uh, out of lines, line of sight, and he's getting these two sections to fire. Uh, he'll probably also get the other section to fire and then we use the junior leader to bring forward the Stug and the Nazis also firing as well at all at this section here trying to destroy them if we can so start with these guys again they're tactical so they're in hard cover they're also hitting on fives and sixes so I'll just work my way through them this first one let's just see one two three four five six seven eight hits so that's going to be two on that LMG and two on the rifles, uh, four on the LMG, four on the rifles, should I say. Uh, so rifles, let's have a look, uh, nothing, no effects. LMG, six of the kills, five is shock. Two kills on the LMG, so that's wiped out that LMG team actually. Uh, so that's taken them out. Well, let's just see, it may be a hit on the uh, senior or junior leader, one or a two and it is. No, it's not. So it's wiped out that team. So that is a bad thing's happen for the Americans, but at least their morale, is, uh, their, their shock has dropped. <laughs> so let's have a look at the bad things happen. A one with a team wiped out is no effect, so they can carry on. Right, so then we go on to the next uh, firing. This is now from the uh, second section in the orchard. Hitting on fives and sixes again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. This time it's all on those rifles because there's only that one team in there now. Oops, let's just sort these fellas out. Right, so seven hits, six is kills, five is shock. Nothing, no effect. Oh no, one shock. That takes them up to six. Uh, they're doing okay though, just, <laughs> he says. And then we've got, well we've got these ones here as well, we could fire these, they don't have an LMG, but they've got one, two, three, four, five men firing. Mm, five rifles, let's do that, five rifles, but they have seven shocks, so three off, so it's actually two dice. Fives and sixes to hit. So look, that's one hit, see what he does. A five is another shock. Uh, so it was worth it, just to at least put that extra shock on there. So that's seven, and they have eight men still in there. So they're okay, they're not pinned yet. Now we've got the Stug though. And this is firing nine dice. Fives and sixes. And that's just two hits. Uh, they do reduce cover, so it goes from heavy co uh, hard cover down to light cover. So fives, uh, sixes are kills, four, five shock. So that's a kill and a shock. So I'll put that shock on first of all, so that takes them up to eight. And does that pin them? Uh, let me have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that will pin them. Well, it depends. Let's just see if it's the leader. No, it's one of the rifles. So yes, they are now pinned. Well, this is getting very bloody, isn't it? Let's see what the Americans are going to do. So we've got two fives, so that is a two chain of command points. Uh, two ones, so that's two teams. And two fours, two senior leaders. Mm, that's probably about what they need, I guess. Okay, it's not perfect, but the Americans have reduced shock here, so they are no longer pinned, but they're still pinned till the end of the turn. So when the turn ends, they will no be long pinned. However, they still are pinned, but they're only on five shock now with seven men. 
Then their senior senior leader, their lieutenant, has run across from the hat buildings into the cover and safety of the woods uh, for one activation. He is then activating this section to fire at the Germans here in the woods. And then he's also activating the, the mortar to do the same and also the MMG as well to do the same as well. So we're going to start with that mortar. Two dice, four ups to hit. Uh, that's one hit. They are in hard cover, six to the kill, uh, five shock. Five, so that's another shock on those Germans. At least try to pick them away so we can uh, break them if nothing else. Uh, they are currently on eight and they have, let me just count it up, one to my hand is no longer in the way. One, two, they've got six men in there. So oh, another four shock and they will break. Uh, also obviously if they get any kills as well. Then we've got the MMG firing, and this is firing with 10 dice. Uh, this is hitting on 5s and 6s, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 dice there. So 5s and 6s. Uh, so we've got 1, 2, 3 hits this time. That really needs to get moving forward, to be honest. It's a solid base of fire, though. Uh, so we've got 3 hits, 6 is kills, 5 is shock, uh, 4, 2, 1s, no effect. And then finally, over here we've got our other section firing on this. These are firing close range, so it's fours up. So there's the, uh, they've taken no hits yet. So we're getting re-rolls on those yellow dice. Uh, so let's just have a look at hits. We're looking at four and above. This is looking more like it. But because they're in hard cover, it's going to be difficult to winkle them out, I think. There's two re-rolls there. Let's just get rid of things that aren't hits. That was a four so that is a hit as well so we've got one two uh let's have a look two four uh six eight nine hits so far plus two re-rolls both misses no effect so we've got the hits six is our kills and five shock so we've got one two kills and two shock so now they are on ten that may have broken them. Let me just check one second, see if it is that junior leader again. Uh, just checking everything else. Yeah, they were all there. So a one, uh, two hit, uh, one or a two in his hit. Uh, no, he's not. So it's two of the rifles, one and two. So that gives them four men against ten shock. So that means they have now broken, finally, after taking such a hammering. So that is uh, bad things happen for the Germans. That's section breaks. One is one point off their force morale, bringing them down to seven now. And they will run off as well. So I'll uh, get them set up. Well, let's just see how far they go. 2d6 plus six inches. They are running nine, 15 inches away. Uh, that doesn't take them off the table, but it does take them quite a way away from the action. So the Germans have run straight back here, ignoring terrain, because that's what they do. They've got to here, but because they've interpenetrated and passed through this section, they've actually passed some of the shock onto them. So they now have got three shock on each of their sections, because they took six in total. So that's not great. Uh, not for them anyway. <laughs> uh, it's going from bad to worse at this point. But let's see what the Germans do in their phase. Okay, senior leader. Junior, 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 and a team. So uh, that is a good spread, to be perfectly honest. For what probably what they need for reducing shock and also for uh, firing. Okay, so we've got junior leader has reduced shock on that team in the orchard. Uh, senior leader is going to get these two sections to fire, and then also another junior leader is going to use the stoop to fire as well. So let's just go with the ones in the orchard first of all firing minus one dice because of their shock hitting on fives and sixes again against these americans in the cornfield so one two three four five six seven hits they are in heavy cover because well they're pinned but they're still also tactical anyway so seven hits six as kills five shock mm, so that's Two kills and one shock. So that's gone back up to six. Yeah, it's not looking good for this section, is it? Uh, and those two kills, let's see if either of those are on their junior or senior leader. One or two it is. No, it's not. So that's two more of the rifles. Might only end up being their leaders in there <laughs> at this rate. Uh, so they are, they are pinned again. So they did reduce shot, but they are now pinned again. So let's just see. Firing from the second 
section, full effects for these ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits this time. And let's just see what they do to them. Six is kills, five is shock. Uh, so that's another kill and two more shock. Uh, so let's just put that shock on quickly. There's the shock and that kill is it's on either of their leaders. No, another rifleman. Right, let's have a quick count up here. We've got eight shock, four men. So they have just broken. So they're going to run away 2d6 plus three. Uh, so, so 2d6 plus six inches. They are running seven. Ah, well that's, that's six, seven, eight, eight, eleven, thirteen. You can tell I'm tired. Uh, so they are running this way. They don't interpenetrate their mates. They are no longer tactical. They are broken. So that is going to be a section breaks. Bad things happen roll. So we'll do that in one second. And this might be the first American uh, loss of uh, force morale. So look, bad things happen. A five is uh, bad things happen on a, on a team uh, section. Well, it's a team breaks, isn't it? Actually, so a five on a team breaks is a minus one point. So that brings their force morale down to ten. It's the first one they've lost after all the heavy fire they've taken. Uh, okay, so now they've still got this stug. So the stug is actually going to move forward and then fire at full effect at the guys in the woods over there. I think. So one inch, so basically just to there. It is firing at the section in the woods. Nine dice, uh, five to hit. So we've got one, two, one, two, three, four hits. Four hits, two on each section. So LMG section. They are saving on six, uh, sorry, killed on six, uh, shock on four or five. So LMG, so two kills on the LMG and then on the rifles, uh, that's a shock on the rifles and two kills. Let's see if that kill, either of those kills are on the leader. Uh, yes, it is. So what's happened to him? A six, he is lightly wounded, but that's another bad thing's happen. So let's just roll that. So that's a uh, junior leader wounded. Uh, that is a six. So that is junior leader wounded is two points off their force morale. So that brings them down to eight. Uh, just one above the Germans at this point. Well, blimey. All right, the Americans took a bit of paste in there, didn't they? Losing three force morale in that turn. Let's just see what they do with their turn, though. Six does nothing on its own. Two fives there. That's going to bring them up to four chain of command points. They kind of want those for a, to be able to, to jump on that, uh, that stug. So we've got a four, a two, and a one. Hmm... Not great. They really need to get that senior leader away from that uh, team that is currently running off the table, I think. So they might have to use that up for their sergeants. Right, so the Americans have used a 1 to bring on their, uh, their bazooka. They've ju uh, jumped into this uh, garden here. Uh, they're 9 inches away from the stug. They're going to hit it in the side. So this is what they're going for. It's normally a five to hit. It's a low profile, so that's a minus one. Plus uh, they are the second range band along, so that's another minus one. So it's uh, minus two. So they need a seven up to hit it. Let's see if they do. Four, no, that's a miss. They were hoping to use a chain of command point uh, dice to do an ambush on it, but uh, unfortunately they didn't get one. But at least they've now got some anti-armor on the table. Then for the next play, they have unattached their Senior leader, sergeant from that running away section, he has now joined the other section, he's reduced their shock and then finally he's getting them to fire over here at the section in the cornfields. And we're also going to use the mortar as well, oh no we're not using the mortar because it didn't have enough for that, but we're using, uh, they're just firing at them, five up to hit, uh, re-rolls on the garands as well don't forget, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hits on those Germans in the cornfields. So that's going to be three hits on each team. This is the first fire that they've taken. So I'm going to go blue for the rifles, yellow for the LMG. So let's have a look. We've got uh, blue for the rifles. So we've got a kill on the rifles and two, sh uh, three shock on the LM LMG team. Uh, that kill, is it on 
the leader? No, it's not. It's just one of the rifles. Okay, back to the Germans and their phase. Let's see what they can do. Senior leader, junior leader, junior leader, and two sections. So, uh, a reasonable mix. They can get some of that shock off, or they can get that stug moving as well. Okay, first of all, we're using junior leader in the stug to turn the stug slightly and fire at the uh, the bazooka team. Uh, five, six hits. Let's have a look. So we've got one, two, three hits with HE, so that is reducing their light cover down to in the open. So that's not good for them. So look, five, six is the kills. Uh, two shock, so they are pinned, unfortunately for them. And then over here, our senior leader, well, we reduce shock here with a junior leader. Then our senior leader has joined this section, he's reduced shock, and then he's getting these two to fire. Uh, so he's only reduced one shock. So the first one here is firing at the Americans on the woods, the wood edge. So look, fives and sixes are hit. Uh, actually, no, they're at effective range, aren't they? I uh, didn't measure. So yes, they are. Uh, this section isn't. This section is at effective range, so it's only hitting on sixes. So there's actually only two hits in there. So that's one hit on each of those teams. Let's just have a look, see what they do with that. Uh, first one of the rifles is a five, is a shock, and the second one on the LMG is nothing. So let me just put that five there so I remember there's a shock on there team and then we are firing with the other section this time these are hitting on four five sixes let's have a look that's so fives and sixes sorry for the fire the paras so let's just get rid of everything that isn't a hit and there we go that's quite a lot more we've got two three four five six seven eight so four hits on each of those teams so lng team six of the kills uh, four five is shock, so that's two more shock, that's on the LMG team this time. And then four hits on the rifles. Uh, two more shock on those rifles. So, no kills, but plenty of shock. <coughs> well, it's hard to work out where this game's going at the moment. Uh, it could go either way, really. Anyway, let's get on with uh, the Americans' turn. Double six, so they are retaining that phase, and they've got a five as well, so that turns their four into five for the chain of command dice. And they've also got two threes and a one, so a reasonable mix there. They can get some shock reduced and do some firing, I think, and a bit more. Let's see what they do with it, though. Right, over here, what we've done is we've used the three for this section over here to reduce their shock, so he's reduced shock for them. Then the uh, senior leader has given them an order to fire. Then for his second activation, he's also ordered the mortar to fire. And his third activation, he's also ordered the uh, MMG to fire. <coughs> okay, and I'm kind of doing this just out of sync, but you'll see what's, why. And then he's moved, he's moved across here, and the reason is I want to get him in to uh, command radius for that bazooka team to get them out of line of fi fire for the Stug. So that's going to be for the next phase because they're returning the phase. So he's used up all of his command initiatives and he's stuck over here. Well, not stuck over here, but he's over here now. So we're starting with the mortar. This is firing at the ones in the orchard. So four ups are hits. So that's one hit. It's going to go on the rifles. Reduces cover. They're in heavy cover. Goes down to light cover. So six is kill, four, five shock. Uh, two, that's nothing. Then we've got the MMG firing. And this is going to fire across and fire again at the ones in the orchard. They are going to be in heavy cover for this. Hard cover, sorry. So let's just see if they hit. Fives and sixes are hits. Let's have a look. We've got, uh, that's four hits on, from that MMG fire. So that's going to be two hits on each of those teams. So rifle team, first of all. Six is kill, five is shock. No, uh, so that's he doesn't reduce cover uh, for an MMG. And then finally, uh, for the other two on the LMG, oh, that's a kill and a shock. Is it on the junior leader? Well, there's also the senior leader in there. A one, and it might be. No, it isn't. So it's uh, one of the LMG team, and he also has a shock as well. It's not a fantastic result, but uh, it is slowly grinding them down, and it's keeping the Germans in place as well, which is the other thing at this point that they need. Uh, and then... They are getting this section here to fire, and they are firing the ones in the corn, so they are in light cover, uh, but they are at long range, so we're hitting on fives and sixes. Ones are re-rolling on the 
uh, on, the, on the yellow dice. So let's just see, fives and sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and just one re-roll there. So let's just give that a go. Uh, that's a miss as well. So three hits on each team <laughs> again. So uh, the yellow dice are the uh, blue is rifles, yellow is the LMG. These are in light cover. So four, uh, five, and four fives are shock. So that's two. Uh, we said yellow dice are the LMG, and so that's one shock on the rifles, two shock on that LMG team. Right. So it's the Americans phase again because they got that double phase. So let's see what we're on. We've got a six, so it's just a single phase this time. Five, full chain of command dice. That'll be nice for interrupting. And then we've got a one, two, another two, and a three. So again, quite a good mix actually there. Uh, pretty much probably what they need at this point. So this time round, the senior leader using the three and the one has got the uh, the bazooka team to run round the back of this house out of line of sight to that stug because they are now out of line of sight to the enemy he's also then been able to reduce their shock so they're back down to zero shock they're still pinned they're pinned till the end of the turn he's then with his next act of last activation he's getting the mmg team to fire again at those in the uh in the uh, what, what we call it the uh you know the, the, the orchard and uh, using the one on its own, we're also going to be firing our mortar team as well. And also using the three, we're firing the uh, the section over here as well. The junior leader is getting them to fire, but he's not reducing any shock for them this time. It's just firing. So we're going to start with the mortar, firing at the ones in the orchard. So let's have a go at that. So we're hitting on four, five, sixes. We've just got a cat just run across the table for us. Uh, so four, five, sixes. Uh, two threes, two misses. This mortar is terrible. But then we've also got the MMG. This is hitting on fives, and they are now in heavy cover now. So we've got one, two, three, four hits. So that's two on each team. Uh, this is probably not going to do a great deal. We just, but we are just pecking away at them. So rifles, uh, three and a one, nothing. LMG. This is in heavy cover, double one, nothing. So no effect there. And then we have our final firing, and this is from this section in the woods, and they are firing out the ones in the cornfield in light cover. So similar as before, these are hitting on fives and sixes. Uh, this is not great hit, one, two. We've got one re-roll, and that's it. So just one re-roll on those garands, otherwise it's only two hits. Uh, it's not going great for the Americans at the moment. Uh, but that's another hit, so that's three hits. So one on the LMG, that's a blue one, and two on the rifles. Uh, they're in light cover, so we've uh, so that's a shock on the LMG, so that takes them up to three, and then a kill on the rifles. So let's see if that is their junior leader. No, it's just one of the rifles taking those guys off, and that's the end of the Americans' turn. Okay, the Germans, they have. Two fives, so that takes their chain of command points up to three. Then they've got a senior, two senior leaders, two fours, and a one. Uh, so that's a team. Uh, that's not a great need. That's not a great role for them. Uh, but they can do some firing at least, and maybe reduce some shock as well. Before they do anything, though, the Americans are interrupting with a chain of command dice, and they are firing at the Germans in the cornfield. Let's just see what happens. Fives and sixes are hit. One, two, three. Four hits and one re-roll. So let's see if there's a get that re-roll done. That's another hit. So that's going to be three on the rifles and two on that LMG. So rifles, sixes kills, four, uh, four five shocks. So that's another shock on those rifles, taking them up to five, four at this point. No, three. Sorry. So that's six in total uh, for the entire section, but. Uh, unaffected by it as yet and then two hits on those on the LMG what we got uh, a two and a one so no effect okay over here the Germans using their senior leader he is getting them to fire at the remains of this uh, section here so these are the ones they can't really hit the ones in the, in the woods there so we're going to try and destroy this section if we can hitting on fives and sixes 
to you know they're hitting on sixes because of the range so that's just one hit there unfortunately for them so let's see what it is but they are in the open so five six is a kill three four shock so that is another shock uh, so that doesn't do anything more that just shocks them even more because uh, they're already broken anyway so they're already running so no effects really there and then we've got the other section is going to be firing at the ones in the woods and there we've got five rifles firing and the LMG and these are also hitting I think on a six as well at this point let me just check uh, I can't remember what I was rolling for those so that's uh, yes 18 so they're hitting on sixes because of the range and the parrot uh, I was probably rolling too well for them earlier, so that's a single hit. So that's going to go on those rifle teams, so let's just see what happens with that. Uh, one, no effect. Right, so back to those Americans. Let's see, oh, they've retained the phase. They've also got a chain of command point. And two senior leaders, so that's two fours and a one, so that is a team as well. Okay, this might be slightly foolhardy on this part of the Americans. What we've done is we've used a senior leader to reduce shock in this section here that we're in the woods. They then activated their other senior leader. He has moved down towards the edge of this house, but before he did, he activated the MMG to fire. So again, I'm just kind of doing this out of sequence. The MMG is going to fire at those in the uh, in the woods, in the orchard. I'm using the one as well to fire the uh, section, the... Uh, the, the mortar team so they're going to fire at these try to reduce them and then the senior leader has ordered this section to charge into close combat now they only need to be in four inches of each other and they are they've just made it they've just got to the point of four inch so what we'll do is i'll do the firing now and then i'll work out how many dice that each of those are rolling and we'll come back and do the close combat so this is this is happening before they've charged across because uh, we're going to do this anyway so let's just have a look uh, we're hitting on oh fives and sixes for this range one two three four hits so this is from the mmg so that's two hits on the uh, on their lmg two hits on the rifles so the rifles sixes are kills five is shock so that's one shock and a kill let's just put those kills to one side for a second because it might be on the senior leader this would be good if it is for the assault let's just have a look at the other hit and a shock there on that lmg team so i'll put let me just see if it's on their senior leader or not or it's on one of the rifles no it's on one of the rifles but that still reduces their numbers which is what they're wanting for this close assault and they've got one shock as well and i'll just hit see if i hit with the mortars uh, three and a three no they haven't so i'll put that shock on i'll count up the dice for the close assault and we'll do the close assault okay i've done the counting we've got 21 american dice against 34 germans because they're in hard cover uh if the americans survive this uh, which they might not uh then their hard cover will reduce uh, so they're hoping to get past it possibly this might be premature i thought this was probably the best time to do it let's see uh no guts no glory and all that fives and sixes are kills and six cause shock so let's pull, pull all these out so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's nine kills from the americans which i think actually wipes out those germans completely uh, and causes six shock i don't think there's going to be any germans left to cause six shock to let's see what happens to the americans see if any of these survive um big, big bigger hands let's have a look so we've got fives and sixes so same again let's pull out everything that they've done this is the last american section really uh possibly no oh, i don't know there's not a great deal of fives and sixes in there. This is not looking good for the Germans, to be perfectly honest. That is, uh, the Americans have won against the odds there. So uh, the Germans have caused uh, one, two, two, four, six, seven kills. The Americans have caused nine, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine men in there for the Germans. So that's killed all of the Germans. Uh, including two left over, uh, whereas the Americans uh, have taken these seven hits. So 
the Americans have beaten them by two, but there are no 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 Germans left, <laughs> so they wiped out that section completely. Uh, normally, that would push them back because uh, they were defeated by two. They're thrown back nine inch facing the enemy, and a point of shock on each team. But all the men have been killed. However, this is always a bit of a, a puzzler. It's probably in the fac or or in the uh, errata or somewhere um, as to how junior leaders, uh, officers, it says leaders in close combat, let's read it out together. Uh, potential leader casualties are dealt with the same manner as hits on leaders in firing section. Uh, at the uh, Check for hits on leaders at the end of each round and apply any results to the next round of, of combat if a second or subsequent round is fought. So here every single German has been hit so that's killed all of their men. So there was one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five men, six, seven killed. So that basically lays two kills over. Now you see, I never really know what to do at this point. So does that mean then that uh, the leaders are automatically going to get hit because you can't roll more than nine on uh, on a d6? So they're automatically going to get hit, but then there's also two kills left over. So I think at this point they, they take those two kills and we roll for both of them because you know they're, they're, they're both going to get hit, I think, at this. So I'm going to I'm going to roll an injury on both of them because you know the amount of kills is over. I, sh I should look this up in the in the facts somewhere. I'm sure somebody's written it down. But let's just let's just say that works that way. So first of all, junior leader, let's see what happens to him. He is number two, he is wounded, and the senior leader, uh, he is killed. So we killed the senior leader, we wounded the junior leader, uh, so that's not great. That's going to be a bad things happen straight away for the Germans. Let me just lay him down to remind me I've wounded him. Uh, that's, uh, you know, I, I kind of take that because there are more casualties than men so I, I just think you know there's two left over so I think I think they should be delivered onto the uh, definitely onto the leaders. The Americans on the other hand because they've suffered seven casualties so one of those well at least one of those is going to be on one of their leaders uh, but they've been able to absorb all the hits within the sections. So let's just see which leader it is one to three junior leader four to six senior. So it is a senior leader so sergeant what's happened to him a three, he is wounded, so let me just knock him down where I can find him, there he is. And then we also lose uh, another six troops, so that is actually going to wipe out that uh, that team, for the machine gun team, I think there was a couple of guys left in there. So that's two of them, and then we've also got another four hits on the rifles, one, two, three, and four. So he is wounded, so right. Now we have to do the bad things happen. This is where it gets a little confusing because we've got quite a bit going on here. Uh, but the Americans have also taken four shock. So that's going to be uh, two shock on each of those teams. So let me just put that on just while I remember it. So we don't need it for the Germans anymore because they're no, no longer there. So we've got two shock. Well, no, actually that team has been wiped out. So that shock goes all onto them. So that takes them to six, which in effect pins that section as well so they are not only shocked but they are now pinned as well but right let's do our bad things happen rolls so we'll start with the Americans we've got a team wiped out and a senior leader wounded so uh, team wiped out first of all two no effect senior leader wounded six that is two points off so I'm just going to make a note of that. Two points off there, so I'll put a dice there so I remember. Uh, that hasn't affected their morale too badly yet. It's dropped them down to six. But then we've got the Germans, and this is going to be a bit worse for them because they have had... They've got a section wiped out, because it was a full section. One. Uh, that is one off their force morale, so I'll just put that there to remind me. And then we've got... Junior leader wounded, that was the next one. Six, ooh, that's another two points. That takes them up to three off their force morale. And then we've also got senior leader killed. 
So roll for that as well, that's a four. That is another two points, so that's five points off the Germans. That drops them from seven right down to two. So that really banjaxes them. So this was worth the gamble because uh, it's absolutely nailed the uh, the German uh, the, Ger the the German uh, force morale at this point. So as you can see here, the Germans are absolutely suffering here. They're right down to two on their force morale, but the Americans aren't far behind them. They've got six, but it is the Americans' second phase, and they are in a pretty bad state at this point. They really need to recover some shock and do some more damage to the Germans. But let's just see what happens with their turn. So we've got another three chain of command dice uh, points. So that takes them up to four. Then they've got six, nothing on its own, and two fours. So that is their two senior leaders. Okay, what we've done here is the senior leader has run well, he's basically ordered these to fire. The other senior leader has dropped to their shock, first of all, the sergeant. He's dropped shock. The other senior leader has ordered them to fire, so they're all going to fire at the Germans there. He's then run across to the uh, the, the mortar and the LMG team, MMG team. He's moved, they've got the MMG team to move forward. They're going to try to get up to a position by this house to fire those Germans. And he's getting the mortar to fire as well. First of all, so we'll start with a mortar, four, five, sixes to hit. Let's have a look, a six and a one, so that is one hit. Uh, so that's on the rifles. Uh, six is a kill. Uh, for first, so no, they're in the open uh, because they're in light cover, they're in open because it's a mortar. So that's a kill. Is it on the junior leader? Or one and it is. No, it isn't. It's one of the rifles. So I'm slowly pecking away at them. Then we have the Garands and the LM SMG from the uh, sergeant firing, and these are all short range, four, five, six is to hit, Garands are re-rolling, and taking off the shock as well. So we've got one, two, three hits, and I saw a one in there for that Garand, so that's a re-roll, four up, no, so that's three hits, two on the rifles, six is kills, four, five is shock, so they're in light, so that's another shock on those rifles. Let's just see what happens with them, that's and then one hit on that LMG team, and uh, that is a two, no effect. So they're currently on seven, and they have seven men, so they are now pinned for the rest of the turn. All right, for the Germans, let's see what they do with their three dice. So they've got two, senior le uh, two junior leaders and a one, which is a team. So at least they can get their Stug moving. So the German Stug is going to fire at the... Uh, Ones it can see, which are these guys here, which are already pretty battered. So let's see, four, five, six is a hit. Uh, that is a lot of hits actually. They are in light cover, so that would be actually no, they're they're hitting on four, five, sixes, aren't they? Five sixes, not four, five, sixes, because they're elite. Uh, so that's four hits. In fact, they're in light cover, but they are pinned, which I forgot to take off their dice for last time, but. We'll let them go on that one. Uh, so that gives them hard cover. However, this reduces cover by one, so it takes them to light cover. So six of the kills, four, five, shock. Uh, so that's one kill and no shock. And is that kill on one of the leaders? No, it's not. It's one of the rifles. Uh, so they are still pinned, but they at least are, have... they Because they reduced their, their shock last time, they're, they're doing okay-ish. So... Back to our Americans then. It was a quick turn for the Germans. Six does nothing. Two chain of command points, taking, giving them a chain of command dice. Then they've got two twos and a three. So that's junior leader and two sections or senior leader. Okay, so our senior leader has got the MMG team to move into here. They did it to add the double, so basically they, uh, they've taken a shock. He's getting the mortar team to fire again at those in the cornfield. So fours up, two misses, two and a one. And then they're firing with these guys at the ones in the cornfield as well. At this time I remember to say half, four and pin. So uh, we've got a five and a five, so that's two hits. So one hit on the rifles, one hit on the LMG, so LMG is in blue. So that's a kill on the rifles and nothing on the uh, LMG, but is that kill on the senior leader, junior leader? No, it's just on one of the chaps. So they are one, two, three, four, five. They are, ooh, they were pinned before, but they are still 
still hovering because they reduced their shock last turn. And back to the Germans, we have a six, does nothing. That one is cocked, but it was, I'll re-roll it. So we've got his junior leader, uh, a two and a three. So that's a section and a junior leader. So he can reduce shock and then maybe the, uh, the section can fire. Right, the Germans are going to use the section to fire and they are going to fire at, they are going to fire at, uh, this section here. They're also going to use their junior leader with the Stug. He is going to fire at them as well. However, before that happens, the Americans are spending a chain of command dice and they are going to interrupt and they are going to fire with their MMG at this section instead. So we'll do that first of all. So they were all set up, ready to go. So they're hitting on fours up. So let's see how many of those have missed. Three misses. So that is seven hits on that German section. So that's going to be three on the LMG and four on the rifles. LMG, these are in light cover, six of the kills, four five is shock, so that's two shock on them, so that takes them up to five shock. So that's reducing their firing dice down. And then we said four hits on those rifles, six is kills, four five shock. Uh, so that's a kill and a shock, so that's another shock up there. That's going to be another dice removed from them. And then a kill. So let's just see if that's on their junior leader or not. No, it's not. It's on one of their rifles, so we'll just take him off as well. Uh, they are pinned and firing now. <laughs> They're only firing with three dice now because of their pin and their shock. They're firing at them. Five, six to hit. Uh, that's three hits. Let's see. Six of the kills. Four, five shock. Uh, two shock on them. So that has pinned them. They were already pinned anyway, so they're pinned again till the end of the turn. And then we've got the Stug is firing, and this is firing with seven at that section there. So fives and sixes. That's so a firing at elite. One, two, three hits. Uh, they're in light cover, reduces light cover down to in the open because they are. Uh, because it's explosives, so let's just see. Fives and sixes are kills this time, so that's another shock and a kill. Is that on one of the rifles or on their one of their leaders? So look, it's on the rifles. So they uh, seven men, uh, seven shock on four men, so they are close to breaking. Well, it's all to play for, isn't there? At this point, <laughs> could still go anyway. Oh, okay, right, that ends the turn. So anybody who is pinned, who is uh, unpinned, is no longer pinned. However, there is nobody who is unpinned. They're all still pinned. So uh, we uh, can ignore that, but they retain the phase. They've got a four and two twos. So that is senior leaders. Uh, two, could be two senior leaders. So I think that's probably what they're going to do. At the end of this phase, there's actually going to be some bad things happen because this section is going to route off the table with a leader. Uh, because he's still knocked out. He hasn't come round since uh, before, I don't think. Uh, also, the we've got another section over there that is routing as well off the table. Uh, so, but we'll do this first of all. We, senior leader for the Americans is getting the mortar to fire because he's in range at these and also then the uh, MMG. The other senior leader has just reduced shock here. So let's just go, first of all, mortar. Fives and six, four, five, six is a hit. So that's one hit. That means they're in the open, because the light cover reduced by one. So it's one hit on the rifles. Uh, five, six is the kill. No, no effect. Then we've got the MMG. He's going to rake them with fire as well. So let's have a look. And now these are hitting on four ups. So let's get rid of everything that's missed. So we've got uh, six hits. So that's three hits on the LMG, three hits on those rifles. Let's just see what happens to them. So LMG. So that's a kill. Uh, and no shock, and then on the rifles, that is one shock. So that goes up to four for them. We'll count all this in a second because they're on nine. I, think, I wonder if they're double. And a kill, see if it's hit uh, on the junior leader. No, it's one of the LMGs, so that now drops down to, uh, drops two points off it. They now have, oh, they have just broken. So they've got nine shock. Four men, they run away. Let's have a look, see how far they run. 10, 16 inches, that takes them off the table. 
So that means that's a junior leader routed and a section routed. So that's a bad thing to happen anyway. Then we've also got this section which will break because it's the end of the turn anyway. So let's do that bad things happen first of all for, well it's a junior leader routed. So we have to have a look at the, uh, we've got, what do we say, it was a uh, section breaks first of all. But basically if they roll a, if they roll a three, four, five, uh, 3 plus then game over. 6 is minus 2 points on their force morale for the section breaks. Turns the Germans down to 0. They have lost. Doesn't matter. But let's have a look see what the rest of the force morale was. We've got junior leader routing from the table. That was this guy here. Uh, that's another 2 points off. And then we've also got the junior leader here routing because he is broken and off the table so that's a roll again for that and that's another two points so they've lost six of their force morale points in that one turn absolutely battered them game over uh, that was that was hardcore i didn't really i didn't think it was going to go that way but that's the way it went all right i'll uh, tidy up the table and we'll have a bit of a debrief right okay let's have a quick sit rep so we've got the remains of the American Para second section here, uh, hiding out in a corn, pinned. Uh, they brought up their MMG and that was able to destroy or help destroy the section that was in the cornfields. They disappeared off the table, as you know here. And then we also had the other, ta uh, the other section route off as well with a junior leader. The Para's sec uh, first section disappeared off as well at the end of that turn but they still had their mortar in those trees over there with their senior leader uh, what you may have forgotten about is they still actually have a bazooka team down here as well in the town uh, hiding from that stug which is over here which managed to move on a little bit and was taking pot shots at people from its uh its its uh its vantage point uh, well as i say that was a complete uh I, I wasn't expecting an american victory uh, I think for the paratroops they really need to be aggressive and that was an aggressive defence uh, most likely more like an attack than a defence uh, but in yesterday's game or you know, the game that they the guys played yesterday a lot of the fighting happened around this village although the Germans you know they, they were able to get in here and they were holding the Americans and basically just uh, battered them on the edge of the village here rather than the other way around. Uh, I guess it really depends on how you play it obviously but it does show that you know chain of command is such a a game where where fortune favours the brave as much as as the dice rolls do as well. Uh, just to give you a quick show there the Germans were down to zero on their force morale of course and the Americans were on six as well there. So, yeah, that was a, a great game. Uh, really exciting. Went from one uh, where I thought when that American section broke, first of all, uh, they ran away. That the decision to take to attack. Uh, maybe I should have waited another another turn because I did have another phase coming up for the Americans. Uh, perhaps it would have been better if that section had fired first of all, just to reduce the numbers of the Germans, you know, do moving fire, get into a closer position, and also just rain down death from the mortar and the MMG on them. But uh, maybe it just went a bit too quick, but it did, you know, it worked, it worked out in the end, and uh, that was really what smashed the Germans' morale uh, as much as anything else, I think. It was all downhill after that, after that, uh, that second section had gone, definitely. Uh, it was just a a case of mopping up I think at that point but it could still have gone anyway because you know the stug still sticking around not really uh, bothered by much apart from that hiding uh, bazooka one thing I should have done really is probably held off one of those chain of command dice the Americans to ambush the stug uh, because the thing is with an ambush you can come onto the table and then you can disappear as well so you don't have to uh, stick around whereas when I deployed them in that little village they had to stay on the table so that was a, a bit of a dodgy thing I was wondering if they'd hopefully try to take the stug out but they obviously missed it and nothing happened well if you've enjoyed that I know I've made mistakes uh, there's quite a few things I forgot to do I probably really should get some pinned markers uh, just to show which units are pinned because uh, I do forget once they start reducing their their dice and I always forget that they stay pinned until the end of the turn 
And I think I probably went through a couple of turns before a couple of units disappeared off the table. It should have done, but anyway, it doesn't matter. The game was fun, and that is all that matters. Uh, play the period, not the rules, as they always say. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, leave me a comment in the comments below. Uh, give me a like, as usual. Uh, all the same things. Check out my Patreon. Check out Kofi. If you want to help the channel, you can also be a channel member as well. Check that out. Uh, it's uh, all appreciated. You don't have to, but you know, if you do, I will be eternally grateful to you. So I will see you in the next Chain of Command video or the next Storm of Steel video. Keep on rocking.